right. Picking up from last time. Oh, Lord. Um, we don't really have that much. I guess I'll just make some snows a huger. Yeah, because what I'm waiting on is just more, uh, more juice. Because I don't really want to use a bunch of items. Like, again, I have already talked about that, like, I know that I don't get them back, and that's, that's lame, but... There's also the factor of, I don't like stopping the game, going into the menu, and using a bunch of things. That's not as fun. There's also the factor of like, oh cool. There's also the factor of like, when I am playing Hylix, I wanna be looking at cool stuff. And normally, I am uh, allotted this. I am afforded the ability to look at as, as much cool stuff as I like. Um, yeah, I can look at a great deal of many cool things. She's more mortal m mirror than government now. I did a lot here. I call this place the Hall of Deadly Statues. Strengthen my leg muscles so I can run past him. <coughs> He's not kidding. These statues are deadly. As you can see. All right, well, hey. Another Wayne cat. I don't know what that thing in the background is. At last, the beast is castigated. Thanks to augmented products, Wayne is blatantly chilling her radiance and passions. Warts beside mere colors and skeletons. Our papyrus poopy Jarus engine will not be approached. And the time for domicile beast draws to an end. Gibby revolting renders totally thanks to the correct lunar fortress. This domicile is a fate amidst the microcosm astride the government. See, so yeah, some theorize that like Dracula doing this as he is is literally responsible for the plot happening like it does. Hey, now we have an airship. Which is really cool and useful. Um, where were we going to go with this? Let's at least stop by here. So I can get a free heal up. But yeah, it's unclear if the, like the, the area that we go to when we like teleport. I don't know if that is like, um... I don't know if that's the same as the afterlife, but it appears that it might be the same, maybe? I don't know. All right. Oh. It does not max out at 99. Just a coincidence. A juice pack. A television. Illusion form. That's a weird one. It just literally exchanges your sprite for something else. Contents are not useful. I got horse food. 3k. Cool. Yeah, illusion form will literally just... It swaps your sprite out for something else. Literally any other sprite. Um, it did not make a return in Hylix 2, sadly. Um, because of the way that those games' models are used and the fact that Wayne has way more stuff that he can do. Um, because in addition to just running around as Wayne, you can also slap guys. You must be the foreman. Check in with Clawman before you head to the lab. Sniff despite a vessel. 
to texturize our burning doom. Let's finally meet you. Uh, go ahead and give me the password so I can get you set up. Did you forget it? I'll give you another chance. It's not that either. Stop joking around. Last chance. Concavity, who are you? Prepare to be destroyed. These are, um, of course, randomly generated. All right, let's just throw stuff at him. Oh, this would actually be a good time for detonation. You know, I've actually been thinking about playing Halo Reach again, which was actually the first game I ever LP'd. Um, in part thanks to pure dumb luck. And also thanks to um, just how well the Halo Master Chief collection is put together. Because that is a solid game. I will tell you that for free. Um... The LP is actually still very good. It's very watchable. Um, it's in that weird era where I'm making uh, intros for games that don't need intros, and I'm still actually saying, Hi, welcome back to blank. Because um, really, you only need to do one or the other. Must be the new guy. Machines have been prepared. Give him a whirl. So we flip those, and he turns into money. So presumably this is like a Gibby thing. This is Gibby's plan or invention or something. I don't know. But they each turn into like a quarter of a million. Yeah, they turn into a lot of money. I like these specimens for their exceptionally high monetization potential. I'll never get tired of watching the machine do its thing. So we could actually go beat the game right now if we wanted to, but there's a little something that I wanted to grab in the maze first. Ugh, the fact that I don't have paper cups is hurting me. After all, why shouldn't I keep it? This is a glitch. Um, I mentioned this offhandedly previously, but there is a glitch that allows you to get an infinite supply of paper cups. Um, there was just a place... This is a, a placeholder, essentially. I forget exactly where it is. All right. Yeah, this was a glitch added... Not a glitch, even. Um... This was initially added, I believe, so Mason could test uh, the paper cup mechanic and make sure that it all worked correctly. There we go. But you can actually get an infinite supply of them. Um, I'm aware that it's cheap. But like, man... It's just kind of a, a shame the whole system is, you know? It's another one of those things that, like... I feel like... How do I put this? Elden Ring uh, came out recently, and obviously it was a smash hit. Um, but there was a big problem where people were attempting to do the side quests. Um... Because people were trying to do side quests in Elden Ring. And side quests normally worked the way that they did in Dark Souls. But in Demon Souls, you have a bunch of small linear areas that go like the spokes on a wheel. In Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1, things are technically linear, but they're not like terrible or anything. But you can figure out where you're going. You know, you're not going to get, like, crazy lost. 
and NPCs are usually always in pretty obvious areas, I'll say, in those two games. Um, and it won't be the end of the world if you miss something, because those games are pretty short. Um, Dark Souls 2 is relatively linear. It's, again, very similar to Demon Souls in how it's like a bunch of short, uh, a bunch of linear things that you can do in uh, a sort of order. And then Dark Souls 3 is very linear. So missing these NPCs and not talking to them isn't the end of the world. That's not the case in Elden Ring because Elden Ring is way, way bigger. And you have a big problem where you're trying to... This isn't it. Where you're trying to go to places, but an NPC is not there, and you have no idea where they are, and they told you, hey, I'm going to be going here. And what you should have done is realize that they would have gotten sidetracked along the way. <laughs> um, and walk from place to place, even though you unlock... Uh, you unlock, um, what is it? You unlock quick travel, like, immediately. I think the other one is in the maze... I think the quickest way to get to there is here. There's another thing in the maze that I want, unfortunately. Crap. All right, it's the red crystal. Um probably was saying something cool um anyway yeah people didn't want to like put a quest book in the game for some reason I guess because they would like I, I can kind of understand where they're coming from where like they would almost feel as though it messes with the like progression of the game and it's like well, now we're making it like the other games. Now it's too similar to, you know, other video games. One meat. Great, that was worth it. You know, it's now too similar to other games and it's generic and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of reasons that I can imagine somebody not putting a quest book in. But the problem is that it ruined doing the NPC quest lines because it made it very, very unfun to try and force your way through NPC quest lines. Because, like, they won't tell you how to do them the actual marker for where you're supposed to go and get the items is oh hey there's one of them is pretty light shall we say and it just it was a huge problem that didn't need to be fixed like I, I know that you know some people worry that like oh because we've made this game like Skyrim people will write it off as being like Skyrim but People going in knew this is from software. And I just really don't know why there's not a convenient, handy quest book written in typical plain English. Sometimes, but only sometimes, but sometimes you can go talk to somebody and they'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, you should probably go this way and do this. And I hope you knew that. But there's a lot of stuff where, like, in this game, it's not too bad. Because, look. Hey, it's the last stage. Stage of death. And his fridge. But it's not too bad because... Like... You know, this game is pretty small and short. So getting lost and, like... I don't know where all the paper cups are. I don't know where all the everything is. Muscle applique. Worth it. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's just one of those things where like, it's hard to... It's just annoying 
and like I can understand why people don't want to put it in because like sometimes it's just a little video gamey to like for them to be like here's a quest book look in it you know so we can actually resummon the airship in case we're separated from it which is nice and convenient that wasn't where the last sip was though is it the other one um, but anyway, in Hylix 2, there was so much stuff where, like, I was just like, can I just have a map, please? Can I have a good map that works and looks good and isn't going to make me tear my hair out? Um, and sometimes you won't get that, and that's a shame. Like, the labyrinth in Hylix 2 is, like, infuriating. Like, it is so unfun. It is actually unfun. Um, and that's the biggest problem with it. Like, I understand why they would want to have a game mechanic wherein the labyrinth is hard to look at, and it's, like, difficult and confusing to examine, and yada yada, all that jazz. But, like, the problem with it is that that means that it's pretty unfun to actually play. So hey, we got the last token, we learned Legend of Melting. I don't think I did that in my original LP, but I have done it now. And I think I did it in the long play too. Um, Is here one? This is, oh yeah, this is weird. So, there's a, uh, there's just like guys here, they're partying. You can loot stuff here and you can play instrument. It's my working jam, yo. Can I? They've trapped me. Okay. Dissect. All right. May be able to hear a bit of that, but you know. It's not too important. Whatevs. I love the fact that this is like this goofy little shape, but on the other hand, it's so difficult to actually like. Can I interest you in hot dogs or a spaceship key? Yeah, we can buy a couple of those. Yeah, like, the fact that they just give you infinite money, and, like, it's not infinite. You could run out, but, like, there's so much of it, it's very difficult to do that. It's very strange. 